Alawam. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Baha Hashem Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem Yahweh Kakodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who will well and teach well, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Baha Hashem Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole for the elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh, Wah Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And uh, pretty much in this lesson, it's going to be titled as uh, Do the Works. You know, I'm going to keep it basic as possible. Do the works. You know, we are to be abounding in the work of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. This should be. A 24 hour process or a 24 hour thing okay you to be getting as much labors as possible in this thing this isn't a thing where you just sit in the background and watch everybody else and not do anything I'm talking about you Israelite men you Israelite women are to do that you Israelite women are to do that you know kick back take notes listen you know and get this truth not to teach the word that's what you women are not to do not to teach the word but you israelite men you so-called negroes hispanics native american indian men you are to be doing the ministry doing the works being a helping body to yahweh baha shimmy yahweh shai and let's get you know some scriptures out and lord willing this lesson is edifying this is galatians 6 and 1 it says brethren this is apostle paul speaking brethren if a man be overtaken in fault Ye which are spiritual, right, restore such an one in spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. Because you're going to go through different things in this truth. You're going to be tempted. This all comes in with a part of you being a working body of Yahweh Shai, a functioning organ of Yahweh Bashim Shai. You're going to go through trials and tribulations as you do the works. As you get into this truth, as you do lessons, as you consistently uh be diligent for the lord the lord's going to put you through different things and he's going to try you them hardships is going to increase the longer you're in this truth the more um trials and tribulations you're going to go through i'm speaking for myself first and foremost galatians 6 and 2 it says bear ye one another's burdens and also fulfill the law of yahweh shai right because we're a helping body to one another you know uh, those of us that are in the truth we're a helping body to another brother you know, so you supposed to be there for a brother, you know, to get him through, you know, because, you know, we are to bury one one another's burdens. Verse three, it says, for if a man think of himself to be something, and this is what is going on amongst a lot of uh, Jake's in this thing. They think of themselves to be this high and mighty guy when you're really not nothing. It says, for if a man think of himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceive of himself. And that's what's going on amongst a lot of Israelites. They get caught up in these things, you know, they get caught up in in how much of the truth they know or how much or how well they're able to break down scriptures. Well, that doesn't mean nothing. The Lord can still have you fall out. He can still take the spirit from you, etc. And we see it happening. Verse four, but let every man prove his own work. So while you're in this truth, you're to prove your own work. The, the works that you do, it shows the faith that you have as an Israelite man. The works you bring out, that shows your faith as an Israelite man. That shows your uh, diligence to the Lord. I don't even give a damn if it's a 10-minute lesson you do. That shows your faith. But if you're a person that's just in the truth, and you're just being a fire on all the comment boards, and you're just posting all these scriptures up, but when people investigate you or brothers investigate you, they go on your channel... You have no works. That's a red flag. That's an error there. And this isn't just for, you know, you brothers that's new in this truth. Because it mainly is to you. But it's to people that's like myself that's been in this truth over over a year. You've been in the truth over a year, two years, three years, even six months. You're to be doing something. You're to be bringing something to the truth. Something. The name of the Lord. It doesn't matter. You're bringing something. Because that's the whole point of you coming into this truth. The whole point of you coming into this truth 
is to make proof of your own works. Because if you're not going to do that, then what's the point of you being here? What is the point of you being around, brothers? What's the point of you going down to the camps? What's the part, what's the, what, the, what is the point of you being in the lives with no works? And you got, you got to look at that for yourself. And you got to ask yourself that question. Galatians 6 and 4. But let every man prove his own work. You have to make proof of your, your ministry, your work, right? You have to teach the word. You have to make proof of thy ministry. Proof of, proof of yourself of the Lord, right? Showing the Lord that you stand out. You have the faith. You have the courage. You're not ashamed. This is all with faith, though. You got to have the faith to do that. That takes a lot of faith. And, you know, I was talking to brothers in my camp. On our camp, we were talking and we were saying, you know, for a brother to be out there by himself to do the works, hey, you have a lot of faith. That shows you as a as as a man of the Lord. You have that takes a lot of faith to go out to the highways and byways by yourself and to preach the word. I've been there before. 2017, 18, 19, 20, 21, well 2020. I've been I've been I've been out there. I you know, I'm not experienced super experienced, but I I've been out there. I know the feeling. You know, but you still have to do it. You still have to do it. You know? It says, but let every man prove his own work. And we, it says, and then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone. See, because you showed yourself worthy in the eyes of the Lord. You please in the Lord. You know, you're able to stand out there with your head up high, bringing out scriptures, fishing for the elect and, and, and bringing to the table as much as you can or what your capabilities is, your limits to the truth, to the governing body of Yahweh Shai, to the body of Yahweh Shai. That, that shows satisfactory in the Lord. That pleases the Lord, man. It says, and then shall he have rejoice in himself alone and not in another, right? Because it's, it's a joyful to see another brother teaching. But what about your works? You see another brother out there teaching, you know, that should that should be a, a fire lit of your spirit to, to, to do that. You know, you don't want to be an individual to just see other brothers bringing labors out. They out there on the highways and byways and you're watching them. That's fine. But what about your works, though? You know, you see another brother's video. You know, he's out there teaching. You sharing his video. That's that's Yapa. That's part of being charitable. But what about your works, though? Do you have works? Are you doing that? You are to do that. Right. Verse five, it says, for every man shall bear his own burden because you're going to go through your own trials and tribulations individually. You're going to go through your own trials and tribulations individual individually. You know, the Lord is going to try you. Verse six, it says, let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teacheth in all good and all good things. And that's the purpose. You are to be teaching this word in truth and sincerity. You are to be doing the will of the Lord. You are to present your body up as a living sacrifice, right? The scriptures say that. This is Romans 12 and 2. Romans 12 and 2, it says, And be ye not conformed to this world, right? Actually, verse 1. I always get confused with verse 2. Salakia. It's, um, um, actually, I'll read, actually, I'll read, uh, I'll read verse 2. Verse 1. Salakia. I'll read verse 1. It says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, Bashimashai, that ye present your bodies, present your bodies as a living sacrifice, right? Living bodies as a living sacrifice. So you are to go out and teach once a week. You are to show yourself worthy in the eyes of the Lord. You are to compel the people to come in. You are fishing for the elect. That's the whole point, right? We are fishing for the elect. We are putting our bodies up as a living sacrifice. Holy and acceptable unto Yahweh by Shema Shai, which is your reasonable service. That's your reasonable service as a man of the Lord. You are working out your salvation and you're doing it through diligence, right? So you are to be doing the will of the Most High. That's the whole point. I was going to read verse uh, 2, but... Mm, it's a good precept, but it's not going into the topic that I'm going into. So I just feel that way. But let's continue. James 1 and 22. It says, but be ye doers of the word. See, you have to be a doer of the word. And, you know, it's 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 a good thing to know this truth. You know, I see you brothers that's new in this thing. Um, 
you know, you're always on the elders' lives and you're posting all these scriptures up. When you do that, you're getting yourself a recognition of the brothers. Brothers are going to investigate who you are. You post all these scriptures on the comment board. They're going to go on your channel and they're going to investigate to see who you are. You, you're a fire on the comment board. They're like, dang, these brothers, this brother knows the scriptures. Let me see what, 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 what he has on his channel. What's what? What does he teach? What does he does he do works? And then they go on your channel. You don't have no street ministry. You don't have no lessons up. That puts a question to brothers' ears. You know, what I mean, in brothers' heads. That put a question in brothers' heads. Like, what are you doing? You know, that starts to see that you're not a diligent brother. You're not sincere. So you gotta look at you gotta look at yourself um, when you do those things. You know, if you're gonna post scriptures on the comment boards and and do that. Make sure that you're doing your works when you do that. Make sure you are, uh, you know, doing as what you are commanded to do of the Lord to the best of your ability. Because I'm letting you know if you're a Jake out there with no street ministry, no lessons, and you're commenting on a comment board, you are going to be called out and you're going to be put up as an example. So you got to think about that. So you want to be doing the works. Do the works. James 1 and 22, it says, but be ye doers of the word. See, be a doer of the word, right? And not hearers only. Because, again, it's it's a fantastic thing to be a hearer. That's one of the awesome, awesomest things to have in the truth is to be a hearer. You know, you go down to the camp, you're taking notes, you're listening, you're studying yourself approve Off camera, you're studying breakdowns. You're constantly uh, regurgitating off the scriptures, off the breakdowns. It's awesome to be a, 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 a hearer. It's a beautiful thing because that comes with studying to show yourself approved, but you don't just want to be doing that and you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not doing the, you're not doing the work. You're not being a doer of the word because you're just only taking notes and doing all that and that's it. You're not sharing that, 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 that spiritual food that you, that you, that you've gotten. You just keeping it to yourself and not doing nothing with it. You're just sitting on it. Now you're wasting your own time. It says, but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. See, so you don't want that. You want to be, a, you want to be a doer and also a hearer. You want to be also a hearer and a doer. You don't want to be a doer. You don't want to be a hearer and not a doer, because then that, that's a that's a problem there, deceiving your own selves. Because you got a lot of individuals. They say they're not ready, or they say that um they're not a prophet. But hey, you're on a comment board posting all those scriptures. You clearly are a prophet. Because you're posting all those scriptures on a comment board. You're a fire on a comment board. You got a lot of keyboard Israelites. You want to be a keyboard Israelite, but you don't want to go and do your own works. That's the problem there. Stop being only a keyboard. You want to be doing the will of the Lord as also being a governing body. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. Elders don't have a problem with you being a governing body with posting scriptures on a, on a comment board. That's, that's beautiful. But they want to see you do works, though. That's the whole point. And if you don't have no works today, or you making excuses why you can't do the ministry, then you shouldn't be posting scriptures on the comment boards. You know, just a heads up on that. You want to think about that. Verse 23, for if any be a hearer of the word, see, you're a hearer of the word. He says, and not a doer, but you don't do nothing. You know, you hear the word, you're taking notes, you're doing all that, or you're going down to the camp every week, every single week. You're, you're, you got perfect attendance with going down to the camp. Well, now it comes to a time where all the stuff that you've learned through the months and through the years that you've been down there at the camp, you have to do something with that now. You learned all the, not all, but you learned as much as you did learn through those years. Now you are to do something with that. But if you're not doing anything with that, you're wasting your own time in the truth. That's what you're doing. And not a doer, he is like a man beholding his natural face in the glass if you look at an empty bottle get an empty water bottle and look inside it there's nothing in it if you get a, a glass cup with nothing in it just look at a glass cup there's nothing in it if you look at a container that's a glass container there's nothing in it you have to literally put something in there so when you look at a glass there's nothing in it that's your works nothing that's bad it's bad and i'm just trying to help brothers out it's bad man you want to be a doer of the work. I don't even care if it's uh, Job 9 and 24. Teach that. You are being a, a helping body to the Lord. 
He is like unto a man beholding his face in a natural glass. You have no works to show, and that's not good. Verse 24, for he beholding himself and goeth his way and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. See, that's due to not doing works. You know, you got individuals that don't do works, that don't do nothing. Through time, you're going to wind up falling out because you, you, you didn't do nothing for the Lord. The Lord is going to take the spirit from you. He could take the spirit from you. We've seen it happening. We're seeing it happen right now. Verse 25. But whosoever looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continue therein, right? He being not a forgetful here, not a forgetful here, but a doer of the work. See, a doer of the work. This man shall be blessed in all his deeds. So you're doing the will of the Lord. That's the purpose. You are to do the will of the Lord. You are to do the real the will of the Haobashi Miyajai. That's the whole point. So you want to be doing the will of your Haobashi Miyajai. That's the whole point. You don't want to be, you know, not doing the works of the Lord. And this is 1 Corinthians 15 and 58. Salakia. 1 Corinthians 15 and 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren. Be ye steadfast, unremovable, always, not partially, always abounding in the work of the Lord. And let's get into the meaning of that word, abound. All right? Let's see if we can get that. Abounding. That goes into the Greek word. Abounding goes into what? Strong's G, 4052. Perisuo. 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 Which means to exceed a fixed number of measure, to be left over or above a certain number or measure, to be over, to remain, right? Abounding, a certain amount, look at that. To exceed a fixed number of measure, right? It says to be left over or above a certain number or measure, see? So you to be abounding in the work of the Lord, how amounts, right? To exist or be at hand in abundance, to be great, right? A thing which comes in abundance or overflows onto one. Something falls to the lot of one in a large measure. See, so you want to be abounding in the work of the Lord. You want to be bringing in as much labors as possible. You know, doing the will of the Lord. Let me see what else we can get. To, to make abound, to furnish one richly so that he is an abundance to make abundant or excellent. Uh, abounding is used for a flower going from a bud to a full bloom. And that's beautiful, man. That's spiritual right there because you start out as a bud and then as you grow in the truth, you become a, a, a full bloom a plant or flower, right? Doing the works of the Lord. You start out as a bud. That's beautiful. Let's see what else we can get. Going into the entomology, G4053. Strong's G4053. Perisas. 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 Uh, it says, in the sense of beyond. That's beautiful. Exceeding some number or measure or rank or need. Over and above more than is necessary. Super reddit. Right? Exceeding abundantly supremely something further more much more than all more so it's pretty over 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 what you can do over amounts over amounts abounding in the work of the lord high amounts of labors you know that's why it's so important to do the works this is an overtime thing no days off this is overtime so you want to be abounding in the work of the lord exceeding the amounts or over you know, over how much you can bring to the table. So you want to be obsessed. In other words, obsessed with this ministry. Abounding in the work of the Lord for as much as you know that your labor. See, that's why scriptures say your labor, your works is not in vain in the Lord. So you are presenting uh, yourself up as a soldier of the Lord, man. You showing yourself worthy in the eyes of the Lord by doing the works, by being embedded and infatuated with this truth, you know consistently on a daily basis studying and doing all of those things that is showing yourself worthy in the eyes of the lord that pleases the lord man that pleases the lord that shows that you 
have faith. You have faith on a, on a, on a high level. You know? That shows that you fully and truly fear the Lord. But if you're not doing no works, you don't fear the Lord. Because if you did, you would do it regardless of anything. You don't. You wouldn't have no excuse why you can't do the works. You never want to have that. Philippians 2 and 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Always remember this to those of you that are, um, you know, been in this truth for over a year or you've been in this truth six months. You've been in this truth from six months all the way up to nine years, 10 years. And you're you're under the banner of Great Millstone. You're not in Great Millstone, but you're under the banner of Great Millstone. You're a follower of Great Millstone. You got to remember nobody in GMS can save you. And I'm speaking for myself first and foremost. It is awesome to learn from them. They are our elders. The elders is our parents. We have big brothers and big bros in this thing. We have brothers in this thing. But they can't save you. You have to work out your own salvation. Remember this. Those brothers that you call big bros and elders, bishops, that's in GMS, they're working out their salvation. Just as you are, they're working out their own salvation. They have to work out their own salvation too. Nobody can save them in this truth. So you got to look at that. What am I bringing to the truth? I say I, I say that I call upon the name of Yahweh Bashim I'm portraying to be this, this man of the Lord. I'm telling brothers, I'm called to Wab, all praise to the Most High. I can't wait to receive the kingdom. Not realizing you have to put in the works for that. To be of the elect, to talk about the spiritual power, to talk about all the women you're going to have. You have to put in the works for that. No works means no reward. You're going to be destroyed. And it's not about that. But I'm just giving examples because you got brothers in the truth that really do this. Oh, man, the kingdom is going to be like this. The women we're going to have. We're going to have a lot of women. We're going to have this. We're going to have that. We're going to have this. We're going to have spiritual power. We, you got to put the works in for that, though. All of that that's being brought out through the spirit, given through his prop, given to his prophets, who are the elders of Boss Great Millstone, the, 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 the beautiful uh, reward that's coming for the elect, being the elect, you got to put in works for all of those things. All those things that, that we hear, that's beautiful. That's, that's man, damn, man, that's because that sounds beautiful. We have to do the works for that, including me. I am not special. I got to put in my own works. I got to do my own works. Nobody in GMS can save me. Nobody in GMS can save me, not even my big bros. No, nobody can save me in this truth. And it goes for you. Nobody can save you in the truth. You have to show yourself worthy in the eyes of the Lord to get that crown. That crown is going to be rewarded to a certain amount of individuals. Just because you're in a camp, that don't mean that you're of the elect. And just because you know that you're a Hebrew is a light, that does not mean you're the elect. You can know the scriptures. You can know the breakdowns. You can know all of that stuff. There's individuals right now that knew the scriptures very well. There's individuals that was in my camp. Them brothers, there was a brother that knew the secular history. I mean, well, he was young. He knew dates. He knew breakdowns. He knew all that. He knew how to speak in the Hebrew. He knew all that. And the individual just didn't have the spirit on him. He wind up falling out of the truth. So this is why, again, you want to really consistently ask the Lord for mercy and bring to the table is what, however, whatever type of a gift that the Lord gave you. You have to use your gift. So what if you don't know the scriptures that well? Bring out what you've learned. That's the main point. You're not you're not pleasing men. You're trying to please the Lord. It doesn't matter about um, what scriptures you know or what scriptures you don't know. Teach what you know. The elders even said, keep it basic. You don't have to know huge ass breakdowns, man. No, you teach what you know. If it's only Deuteronomy 2868, teach that. If it's only Zechariah 13 and 8, teach that. If it's only um, Psalms 147, 19 through 20, teach that. If it's only Revelation 14 and 1, teach that. Teach what you know. You are showing yourself worthy in the eyes of the Lord. Let's read that again. It says, Philippians 2 and 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as... Not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. See that? Work out your salvation with fear and trembling. 
See? I read verse 13. For it is Yahweh Bashim Yashai which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. So men's goings of the Lord. The Lord is going to put the spirit on you to do it. You're going to go and do it anyway. If if you are um of the elect, the Lord is going to put the spirit of you to do his works anyway. You're going to do it anyway. But those of you that's being double-minded and scared to teach, that's not a good spirit to be in, man. Because we don't have much time left. And you don't want to be in the congregation of the two-thirds behind being having all these thoughts. Do the works. Do is what you can bring to the to this truth. All right. Be a helping body to Yahweh Bahashim Yashai. The Lord wants that from you. And I'm speaking for myself first and foremost. So Lord willing is that so is that a fun? Till next time I say, Shalom.